Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry. The most delectable Chupacabra, man. We're back for some more We happy few. I've gotten somewhat more familiar with my inventory and the fact that we can club people with rocks or something, or huck rocks as the case may be. I don't really have anything that I can use to like, bash people's heads in? I thought I had a pipe, but somehow I reached this safe house and then lost it. So anyway, I'm a little bit thirsty, so I need to equip some water in my hot bar here. And that'll take care of that status effect, and somehow I'm wounded, so what do I need to do for wounded? Do I use some healing balm? I guess that's the ticket, so... Alright, let me just equip some water or something. Nothing in these maintenance lockers. So yeah, if you weren't here for the last round, basically, we were working in the government sensor office, we stopped taking the happy pills, and then we got chased by the cops, and now I'm using a dead lady, Mrs. Stokes, as a punching bag. Wait, can I carry the dead body? Oh, quest found! Dispose of Mrs. Stokes. I seem to have done a lovely job of breaking this door. I suppose I won't be getting out that way. I guess I'll just leave Mrs. Stokes dead on- well... You know, if everyone's taking happy pills, it'll probably just look like I'm holding a- I need a- I need a Jimmy bar. Where the hell do you get a Jimmy bar? I don't even know where you get a Jane bar. Or a Bob bar. Or a Bob Saget bar? And I don't know. I'm a terrible burglar. I'm a terrible dystopian future Murdertron. I got some grapefruit juice. That might come in handy. Now, I don't need to sleep, because that'll make me thirsty again, I think. Uh, can't get out the maintenance locker, because it's locked. Where do, does one get a Jimmy bar? Is there... You'd think there'd just be, like, a Jimmy bar as a tool. Did I pick one up somewhere? No. No, I didn't. It's kind of hard to see what is interactable in this game without just going on a pixel hunt for whatever bizarre reason. Oh, okay, so apparently you have to, in this game, you have to craft a lockpick and then open up this locked locker? I'm not sure how they expected me to figure that one out. Alright, basic, basic lockpick. There we are. Let's pick you open. I like how, like, every government official just knows how to pick a lock. Well, that's fine. So now we've got a Jimmy Bar, some cloth, some more metal bits, Nexamide pill, and some mystery meat. Yeah, I'm sure that's not gonna murder my face. So let's see here. I've got some alcohol, I've got s ooh, canned grapefruit juice. That'll do... well, I'm, I'm kinda hungry. What does that mystery meat do? Or did it- wait, did it not give me the mystery meat? There we go, I got the Jimmy Bar, Noxide Pill, Vomiting from Food Poisoning, take the Nexamide. And it'll be right as rain in no time. We got a cloth, a glass bottle, here we go, this tastes a bit like pork, but what is it? It's human meat! Oh boy! I can't wait to have some leg of ha of Harold and take a nap for whatever it's time I have to. Like okay, so... I mean... That's annoying that I had to look up how to do something in the game already. You'd think it, like, would give me a better hint than that. I don't even think I missed it simply because... I don't... simply because I'm, like, doing commentary at the same time. But whatever. So we have our Jimmy Bar. Let's get the heck out of here. So the goal of this game is basically to just run from house to house avoiding the popo as long as humanly possible. Whatever that ends up meaning. So I guess I just shimmy around here in the dark. Escape was added to your journal. Reach St. George's home. So I need to stay out of the open. And I don't really have any information as to where I am. I'm just here next to some water. 
Where was there water? Like, I, I probably need some of that to stay alive. Alright, that police officer doesn't know I'm here. Where did I come out of? This murder hole? Oh, that's the safe house. Okay. So where is there water? I could really use some. Okay, that's the cop, I think. Yeah, so we're just trying to shimmy around in the darkness without getting seen. Seems reasonable enough, I guess, if I can even see where I'm going. Which, honestly, not, not really. There's some burned down houses. Oh, and it's getting daylight now? What the hell? Well, uh, I don't really have any experience with this game to date, so this is just going to end up being a hit or miss as we go. So we've got some pretty flowers and some fucked up houses. Someone just wants somebody to stop screaming, that's all. Well, maybe I just start killing people, because when I saw the previews for the alpha before, when this game was on Kickstarter, like, I just saw people walking up and beating the shit out of people with a pipe, so... Maybe that's the secret of Vern Gully. Pipe beatings. What is this? Warning! Toxic fog spotted! When going near it at night, be sure to have a gas mask equipped in a quick slot. Oh, so that just- that just releases toxic gas. So maybe this is like post-World War II Britain or something. And they've not really recovered all that well from the- the murders of the bombings and stuff. This is just an endless load of randomly generated houses or something. I guess I'm just unlocking recipes for herb bandages and stuff. Okay, that's fine. We'll just have a j merry jaunt through the fucked up everything. Oh, so there's a checkpoint in order to go into, like, the town. I was in the sewers and I escaped all of this. Got it. So... I saw, like, police officers before. What happened to all of them? What's your deal? Why? You're not one of the happies. Nope, you're gonna get murdered. There we go. Oh, he had a rotten apple on him. That was definitely not worth the effort. Okay, so these are all just random, sad, homeless people. Good to know, and I'm starting to get tired, so there's a lot of status effects in this game that I'm guessing you have to manage while basically just trying to survive from the crazy people. I am stuck in a tiny hole, apparently. Is this... Alright, so there's just a lot of people who don't seem fully aware or cognizant of their surroundings. Good to know. I need to find a proper weapon, so... What's up in here? This looks like not government-approved housing. What do we got? Oh! Johnny Bolton, while, okay. Welcome to the Special Operations Executive. You're the new agent, aren't you? Alfie, what's his name? Great. Here are the other agents. This is Charlie Croker, Jack Carter, Gonville Bromhead, Joe Vandeleur, and Nigel Powers. But we're missing Peachy. Okay, he's just insane. Good to know. I'll be going now. I need to break into someone's house and steal food. Because I'm starving to death slowly. Quest found. Rescue Peachy. You've received Jimmy Bear. Wait, did I just get a quest that I didn't want? I think I did just get a quest. So I have dingy, torn suit that I'm wearing. I got some dirty-ass bandages, and some neckside pills. 
All right. So, what does the map say right now? Basically just says this is the goal in St. George Holm, but I don't have resources to do that right now. Like, I need to somehow find a pipe or something to beat people to death with and a gas mask because there's just these fog plumes that come out and kill people. What's up with these post boxes? Are you... Oh, you're a warning sign. Yeah, I definitely need a weapon. I just want to start beating people to death. That's going to be my primary goal here. Hey, yeah, you're... Alright, someone's just muttering to themselves over there. What's in this? Mailbox. Metal bits and Libichek, or Libchen, whatever that was. Oh, there's water over here. But there's a person that I'll have to beat to death to get to it. Well, I guess I'll have some of my beverage while I'm waiting to go murder people, which will take care of my temporary thirst. And there's a bunch of floating... floating shovel icons for loose dirt. Not really sure. So there's some resource I can get from there. And there's water right here. And a crying sad man. Well, let's fill up a container for water. And then I'll have something to drink, because I'm sure that couldn't hurt. Hey, there's a house with mannequins that you can fondle. I do love fondleable mannequins. And a torch. I'm going to be stealing that. And whatever that. Ooh. Okay, that's a crafting station, so I can make mechanical bits. Sometimes I wish I knew you well, then I could speak my mind and tell you. Maybe you'd understand. It's so tired. It's very tired. Okay, I'm not really sure who was talking right there. This is one sort of crazy kooky mess. But yeah, it looks like, essentially, we are in the bombed-out remains of post-World War II Britain. And this is just how... Everybody has been surviving lately. Okay. I guess that makes a tiny titch of sense. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was exactly what Larry needed. A bat to bash people's skulls in! And I mean, I am going to start just killing people and finding a way to game the system. Oh, there's a couple sovereigns of dollars inside the toilet. I think they call those a poop penny. That was, I think that was an item in Binding of Isaac, actually. Let's see here. Well, actually, we're running kind of out of time for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys and gals next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys and gals later. We got more We Happy Few coming. It's going to be a little hit or miss as I try to figure out how all of this works. So, that will probably be the plan of attack. I gotta find food, though, before I decide to go back to my hideout and sleep. So, yeah, that's about all I've got for right now. So, tools, everybody!